They out there panicking right now. I can feel it. They out there. They're panicking. Look at them. Now, you're not naive enough to think we're living in a democracy, are you, buddy? It's the free market. Part of what's happening what's happening what's happening once again you've pulled up to the block market this is cool ray valentine shout out to all those beginner investors and traders out there if you're thinking this is wall street i'm gonna say it again you'd have made the wrong turn this is hood money investing this is the block market this is to all those beginner investors and traders out there trying, you know, shake and bake and turn a double up to a thousand and eight out there. Uh, right now, I want to show you my Robin Hood portfolio and what's going on today. We're up 24 percent. 23%. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, uh, this is for those beginner investors and traders out there or uh, someone that may be thinking about getting involved in investing and trading. You know, uh, I just want to show you uh, beginners, uh, soon to be investors, what could possibly happen if you take some time and educate yourself, inform yourself, get a financial advisor, someone that is educated in investing, and you start to uh, obtain some information and educate yourself, like I said, the possibilities of what investing and trading can do to someone, you know, that has uh, the right knowledge and information about the things that are taking place in the stock market. Forgive me for rambling, you know, uh, I just want people to see what's going on and do my best and play my part, you know, to pass a little bit of information on that I'm learning, you know, that can possibly make you think about investing, you know, to uh, better your chances of reaching financial freedom, excuse me, you know, uh, and that's the reason why I'm doing this, you know, uh, I'm not doing this for no likes, I'm not doing this for, you know, uh, uh, nobody's, uh, 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 you know, approval or anything like that. This is to show people, you know, the opportunities that uh, invest in holds, you know, because I was once an invest, uh, uh, someone that was, uh, you know, a little bit, uh, I guess, apprehensive, uh, a little bit suspicious, uh, and I didn't really... Uh, have enough information or have the right people giving me the information to understand what was going on in the stock market. So, you know, without rambling, I just want to show you what's going on right now in my Robin Hood portfolio. Uh, we're up today 24%, uh, four G's, uh, the, uh, my stock went up to 20, uh, to invest right now, as you can see in my portfolio, I'm up 20, 20 G's. Okay. And, um, I'm not up 20 G's. My account is up to 20 G's. Excuse me. Um, uh, right now, GameStop is popping. Uh, it jumped up to 38 bucks as you, uh, that was the high today. It jumped up to about 30, yeah, 38.65. So that shot my account up to about, uh, I think it was up to 22. Yeah, 22. Uh, yeah, that was that it shot up about 22. So that was interesting just to see, you know, what's going on with GameStop, all the information uh, and news that's coming out. You know, people are starting to jump on it, I suppose, uh, with uh, Ryan Cohen. Uh, having a few of his uh, Chewy members jump on the GameStop's uh, train, I guess, you know, that information and that news is starting to gain some traction and GameStop is starting to make a move. Hopefully it stays over 30 bucks. That would be lovely because we, we, we I, I mean, in, we're still waiting for a squeeze, you know, uh, the PS fives that are the top selling consoles, you know, out of the PS, uh, PS, uh, playstations. So, you know, with this news and information that's coming out, you know, it's only going to get better once we see the Q4 reports. Uh, and I think that's in March, I think if I'm not mistaken, but that's the reason why you have to do your own homework, your own due diligence. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not an investing guru. Uh, I happen to, uh, snatch about, uh, 140 shares of Fusel Energy, 
uh, off the table, uh, which, you know, gave me a, a nice profit because I happened to catch most of those down about two bucks. So, you know, from two to 20, that was definitely a real good profit. Uh, and I started moving uh, some of that profit around, uh, dug a little bit deeper into Jivo. Uh, I'm trying to grab more of some of this bio key because I really think that this has some real potential based on uh, the applications uh, with security badges, uh, just just any and everything, keys. I mean, biometrics can be used in so many different things to uh, get in places, you know, uh, and to, for security, you know. Uh, so that's one reason why uh, I want to try to dig deeper in the bio key. Um, what else? Uh, I'm trying to get as much ARK Invest as possible in this portfolio. Probably grab another Tesla before it goes up. Uh, grab some more AT&T just because of the dividends. Um, and that's pretty much it. You know, like I said, I try to show you guys and uh, you beginner investors and traders uh, just what's going on and some of the moves that I make and the possibilities of investing when you educate yourself and inform yourself. If you go back and check out my portfolio three months ago, uh, this account was on $4,900, I believe, a little bit over 40, 4900 uh, As you can see, uh, right now it's going down, but you know we're over 20% today. Uh, for the week, we're over 37. For the month, I'm up 94%. So just in a month, I'm almost up 100%. You know, so um, I, I just want to continue to show you beginner investors and traders the possibilities, you know, and the potential uh, of, of reaching, you know, uh, different financial levels if you decide to take your time and educate yourself and inform yourself about trading. You know, so, you know, at the moment, GameStop is going back and forth, is fighting with that $30 range. Uh, I was shocked that it shot up to 38 bucks. I was like, yo, I thought the squeeze was happening because it went from 20 to bucks. It uh, went down about 19, I think, 19 something, high 1995 or 1998. Then it just went up to 20. Uh, and then it just shot up, you know, and I just was saying, whoa, it's about this. I, I was thinking it was going to squeeze past like 40 or 50. But once it started coming back down, I was like, OK, well, it's losing steam. So, you know, this is just showing us what is in store for GameStop, in my opinion. I mean, because all the revamping that they're doing around GameStop, I mean, this is the moment that we were waiting for. And personally, I was just talking about how I was just getting a little bit frustrated because of of it, se it seemed as if they were holding GameStop back, in my opinion, you know. Um, but right now, with it jumping the way that it is, uh, I have even, I have a few friends that's hit me talking about, yo, man, I'm jumping on this GameStop. And I was talking about GameStop for months, you know. So uh, at the moment, just being in this position, you know, I'm waiting for GameStop to jump to at least 50, 60 bucks. Once it jumps to 50 or 60 bucks, we can start to, uh, I mean, I mean, I, cause I can only speculate with all the, you know, uh, partnerships and deals that are going on. And then, you know, with the team that's, uh, the dream team that's being put around GameStop, I, I just, I can, I, 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 just me, this is just my opinion. I think GameStop can go to a hundred bucks plus. You know, so that's just my opinion and we'll see what will happen. You know, we will see, you know, uh, as you can see, my channel has been up for about three months now. And um, I, I'm, you know, just in for the long haul, you know, and uh, sh like I said, shout out to all those beginner investors and traders out there to take their time out to come to my channel to see what's going on. I know, uh, like I said before, I'm not analyzing stocks the way that most people may want uh, uh, someone to, uh, but this is just my way of showing individuals, uh, the possibilities of investing, you know, and when you take your time and educate yourself and inform yourself. So I hope you guys, uh, had, uh,
some type of epiphany or idea, checking this out. I uh, got a call, a couple, few calls that, uh, well, more than a few, but, you know, some calls that uh, I happen to uh, you know, capitalize on. Um, some plays uh, expired uh, at zero, which was perfectly fine to me because I've been uh, making some great gains off of 30, 40, 50 bucks. I've been making two, three, four, five hundred dollars profit off of, you know, small amounts of money. So that's another reason why uh, I've been accumulating uh, a nice, uh, uh, some nice profit the last couple of months. So um, we'll just see what happens, man. We got a call for Vail this month that it be up, uh, a call for AT&T that it be up. Uh, I took a party city call that I thought would be, you know, a put, well, excuse me, a put because of the pandemic. So I just thought party city would crash <clears throat> like it went down last year, but, uh, that was a mistake. Uh, as you can see, uh, and I think this Veil call has some juice, and then I have some Macy's calls uh, for March and uh, May and June. Uh, so, uh, no, no, that's a Wells Fargo. I'm sorry, that's a Wells Fargo call for June. Excuse me. So that's right now what's going on in my portfolio right now. GameStop has it really uh, jumping at the moment. So, you know, we'll wait and see what happens the end of the week on Friday, okay? So, you know, I appreciate everybody pulled up, you know, to the block market. We're going to keep on showing you these gains. Uh, we're going to keep on showing you any and everything that takes place in uh, my Robin Hood portfolio uh, so you guys can see someone like you uh, taking chances on the stock market and investing. You know, I'm not someone that has hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars trying to capitalize off a YouTube channel and make people believe that I've already been doing this. Like, I, I'm learning, you know, every day. Uh, I push myself every day. Uh, I make sure that I learn something new every day. And uh, that's just pretty much it. You know, I'm trying to learn the lingo and hopefully, you know, pick up more and more uh, 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 knowledge about how to read stock charts and graphs and, you know, the RSI and just, just a bunch of different things. Even though that stuff doesn't matter, you know, really, I mean, in, in, in certain occasions, you know, because stocks, they're going to do what they do, you know, based on a psychological, uh, based on, you know, the psych the psyche of people, you know, it's, it's just, that's how, it, I mean, I really take a, a, a step back and use, you know, a lot of that, like, okay, well, I understand that people do this and do this and do that. So, you know, that's one of the reasons I make some of the uh, decisions that I do when I invest. But uh, sorry for keeping you guys too long. Uh, I don't want to blab, keep blabbing. You know, it's just that I really think that people uh, should take an opportunity to educate themselves and inform themselves, you know, as far as investing in the stock market. This is uh, the block market. This is hood money investing. Once again, I want to say I'm not a uh, financial advisor. I'm not investing guru. Please do your own due diligence. Do your own homework. Do your own reconnaissance. Make sure that you educate yourself and inform yourself when you jump into the stock market. But the benefits of it, if you do, could be astronomical. So, you know, once again, thank you for tuning in. This is the block money market. This is hood money investing. You tuning in, listening to your boy, Cool Ray Valentine, and we are out of here. They out there panicking right now. I can feel it. They out there. They're panicking. Look at them. Now, you're not naive enough to think we're living in a democracy, are you, buddy? It's the free market. And you're part of it. Something just came across my desk, John. It is perhaps the best thing I've seen in the last six months. If you have 60 seconds, I'd like to share the idea with you. You got a minute? After everything we've done for you. Oh, see, I made Lewis a bet here. See, Lewis bet me that we couldn't both get rich and put you on the poorhouse at the same time. He didn't think we could do it. I won.
I lost. One dollar. Thank you, Lewis. After you. Certainly. <laughs>